The ocean is a complicated place, and predicting where its water is going to flow is surprisingly difficult. Most people know that seawater gets pushed by the tides, which are controlled by the moon, and the sun, and Earth's rotation. There's also wind, which blows the water on the surface and creates waves, which can turn into swells, which move the water even more, especially if they break. And when water does move, it tends to turn because of Earth's rotation. It's called the Coriolis effect. The same reason why tropical cyclones spin this way off the US, but this way off Australia. And when fresh and salt water meet, differences in salinity cause it to move even more. And as its temperature cools, water tends to sink. So where is the water going to go, and what is it going to bring with it? Scientists have been trying to figure this out for literally hundreds of years, and today they are making more progress than ever. Why? One reason is because they have much better tools. For example, if you want to measure surface currents, you can use a GPS drifter, or seed the ocean with wooden plates or dye, and use drones to track their motion. Or if you want to know what's happening deeper, you could use an acoustic Doppler current profiler. You could also use an underwater robot, this one's called Remus, and have it measure the currents for you while you fix other robots. Or maybe you don't trust the robots, so you put up a balloon to measure the currents from overhead, or get into a plane and measure the current from way overhead, or launch a rocket into space with a satellite and measure them from way, way overhead. So every time we want to know where water is going to go in the ocean, all we have to do is get a bunch of people together, load the boat, motor out to sea, deploy the drifters, fly the drones, drop in the sensors, release the robots, blow up the balloons, fly the planes, and launch the rockets. Easy, right? Luckily soon we won't have to do all that because of computers. With all of these instruments working together to paint a picture of how water moves in the ocean, scientists from 30 different universities have come together as part of the Consortium for Advanced Research on Transport of Hydrocarbon in the Environment, or CARTH for short, and collected massive amounts of data to create the next generation of ocean circulation models. They aren't perfect yet, but they're getting close, and with more work they'll be able to predict things like where spilled oil will go, or how to locate a boater in distress, or where marine debris will drift. Who knew so much work went into predicting the path of a little bit of water? To learn more about what makes water move, visit www.carthe.org.